Hi class, it's Amanda Burbage, your Humanities 246 instructor. And since we have finished Unit 2, I wanted to do a quick wrap up and set us up for success in Unit 3. I have already graded the Eva Landlady projects, which was uh, a good job by everybody uh, selecting some either really creative or really practical problems and then demonstrating how the problem solution problem solution phase rolls out and this is a real thing in our lives so i'm glad that you all were able to come up with something uh, to demonstrate how solving problems um, is a critical and circular um, process that we that we conduct everybody did do the uh, quiz too and i wanted to talk about one question um, let's see here if I can move the slides. There we go. Uh, in Blackboard, this question seemed to trip up a lot of people. So the question is, my problem is paying for tuition. Right now I am with a financial aid counselor. I'm searching for grant and scholarship opportunities. I'm asking other students what they're doing and I am um, looking for more work hours. So the correct answer is brainstorming and exploring alternatives. And uh, let's see here, it looks like 13 of you got that right, which is great, but that's only about half of you. Um, the other half of you most often said that weighing the advantages and disadvantages of each alternative was the correct answer. And and then a significant portion of you also said that selecting an alternative as a solution and implementing the solution was the correct answer. However, the reason brainstorming and exploring alternatives is the correct answer is because at this stage, I am simply thinking of all the things that I could do and I'm starting to get the information that I need. I'm just, just scratching the surface of exploring these opportunities. Now, I could reword the question to make either one of the next two correct. So for instance, if I reworded the, quest the question to, I have already met with a financial aid counselor and they said the due date is passed and I asked for more work hours and my boss said yes, but I'm concerned about spending too much time at work and not enough time studying. Um, so now I'm getting into the pros and cons of each possible solution and that would be bringing us down to that third stage, which is weighing the advantages and disadvantages of the alternatives. I bring this up because I want everyone to be successful in this class and this is probably a question that you'll see again or you will likely see another similar question both on the midterm and the final exam so if you got it right keep up the good work and if you got it wrong no worries that's why we're having this conversation because i want you to be successful and now you can be more prepared for next time all right let's move into unit three Looking ahead, uh, we have two really important concepts out of Unit 3, which I love. Uh, the first is selective attention. This is really interesting, and I want everyone to go onto Blackboard and make sure that you follow the instructions for the selective attention video, which is, I think, either the first or second item in Blackboard. And another important concept out of this unit is propaganda. Now, this is a very timely piece of information to be covering in this class because uh, just within the past month, we've had two, I think now, maybe three reports released on the involvement of Russia with the presidential elections um, recently. And um, there's a lot of evidence that Russia was involved in persuading the American public opinion about both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Whether Donald Trump knew about it or not is a completely separate subject. But the fact that Russia was influencing us as a country um, is exactly what propaganda is. So we tend to think about this as like an old school World War II issue, but it's not. It is something that's ongoing and it's pretty prolific. Um, that's why we do the fact and opinion meme project in this class, because I want you to have the skills to weed through this fake news and this propaganda that you are just bombarded with on TV and media outlets. Um, I will say that we had, I think, 15 responses to the fake news question, which was in unit two of Blackboard. And most of you said that it's a good idea to avoid the clickbait uh, and uh, to stay away from news sites that are known to be um, proliferating fake news, which there is a real documented list of news sites that are not reputable. And then many of you said that you would uh, want to fact check or double check something before you shared it or before you believed it. But the truth is that takes a lot of effort. And even just by glancing at the, um, at the, at the article, uh, what is it called, headline, um, you actually have exposed yourself in a very small way. Um, and that is gonna circle back to that first concept here in unit three, which is selective attention. So you'll understand that more in just a week or so. Uh, this unit, we have the mid-semester survey and the journal. These are basically free points. They're very easy to do. So if you don't have a 20 or a 30 on your journal by the time this unit is over, please get in touch with me because I'm concerned we're having a miscommunication and I don't want you to miss out on a significant portion of your final grade points just because you're missing deadlines, all right? 
Um, and then finally, we have our midterm assessment or our midterm test. This is a cumulative test. So I do encourage you to go back to quiz one and quiz two, look at what you did right, look at what you missed, and uh, maybe complete the uh, self-assessment in the unit three chapter so that you can practice test for the uh, midterm um, test. And finally, we have our concept map thinking activity, which is due. And I put this at this time because uh, you can use the concept map as an opportunity to study, not only for this midterm exam, but for other midterms you might have in other classes. So if you're in engineering or business and you've got a midterm coming up, make sure that you create your concept map out of something that's important for you to know from those classes. Double dip with your classwork. I am all about that. All right, now in between all of this, we also have spring break. So I'm gonna end on a happy note. Uh, speaking of facts versus opinions, um, I pulled this image from uh, Google Images, obviously. What you should be doing on spring break, what everybody thinks you're doing on spring break versus what I think you probably actually will do on spring break. I know um, that I should probably be in the first category. I may get a little bit of that third category happening myself. So let's have a great unit together. Always get in touch with me, email, phone call, text. I want to come alongside and make sure that you understand everything from this unit as well as the directions um, for any assignments that were uh, that were that are due soon. All right.